Hello everyone. I am uh, Terry Brady, the Midwest Sales Engineer for Lake O'Toole in Perrysburg, Ohio. I want to thank everyone for taking the time to sit in on this live demonstration of Lake O'Toole's MSD system. I will, be, I will be presenting slides and videos that will hopefully give you valuable information about our patented MSD system. If you have any questions during this presentation, please feel free to ask in the live chat and one of our panelists will be able to assist you. Let's begin the presentation now. First off, I want to start with a brief introduction of Lake O'Toole. In case you're not familiar with us, we were founded in 1976 and we have been manufacturing aftermarket tooling, machine sub-assemblies, along with small machines related to the flexible packaging industry since 1981. Over the years, we have excelled as front runners in the industry, providing quality packaging solutions for sealing, cutting, and hole punch tooling for both horizontal and vertical form fill and seal equipment. Because of our strengths in engineering and manufacturing, we are often assigned to provide challenging solutions in one or more of these areas. In addition, we, provide our, we pride ourselves in working as an extension team that is tasked to provide solutions to problems on packaging lines, as well as find ways to reduce costs for your company. This live demonstration will cover MSD quick change seal jaw systems for flow wrappers and vertical baggers. This is the MSD modular sealing device quick, cha quick change seal jaws. They are, the two main components are a base and a seal insert. The base is always mounted on the machine on either the shaft, mainly in the case of horizontal form fill and seal machines or rotary vertical form fill and seal machines or the carriage of intermittent motion vertical form fill and seal machines. After years of field, of field sales and service at customers' locations in numerous segments of the packaging industry, we noticed similar issues and requests from maintenance and production personnel. With their needs in mind, Lake O'Toole began to develop the MSD system. It first became available in 2005, and Lake O'Toole later received a patent for the designs in 2010. The main focus of the design was to reduce the time needed for changeovers and heater replacements. This in turn enabled the design to address another request for, from production managers, which was to increase the flexibility of the equipment. With the two-piece design, a single piece of equipment could now run hole punch and standard seals with interchangeable seal forms and pitches, as well as switching from running a hot seal to a cold seal. Heater replacement also became much less time consuming with Lake O'Toole's MSD system. The clamshell design of the heater, as seen here in the vertical jaws, gives maintenance technicians easy access to the entire length of the heaters, making it easier to remove cooked in heaters from the jaws while they're on the machine, rather than having to pull the entire one piece jaw off the chisel or drill out cooked in heaters in the maintenance shop. This provides a more pain free maintenance procedure for the replacement of heaters, which leads to less machine downtime. The two-piece design also led to a standardization of parts, which helped reduce the number of spare parts needed to maintain production. Several machines, depending on length of seal, center distance, and fasten points on the shafts and carriages, could run the same seal inserts. The inserts of the MSD system can be designed to fit the bases of several different machines in order to have a single insert part number that is capable of running on different makes and models of horizontal form fill and seal machines and vertical form fill and seal machines. The MSD system also reduces the cost of replacement parts by giving the customer the ability to replace only the insert needed as opposed to a more expensive complete jaw. Lake O'Toole's MSD and OEM style jaws are also made from a more durable material than most jaws on the market. We use a corrosion resistant pre-hardened material that remains very stable even when heated up. The material has a hardness of 34 RC on the Rockwell C scale. The combination of hardness and stability will give the jaws made by Lake O'Toole a longer lifespan compared to jaws made by other suppliers. I will now show you an animation of a horizontal form fill and seal machine MSD system as it mounts to the machine. The base is secured to the shaft of the machine using the existing fasten points and dowel pins for proper orientation, as seen here. 
The MSD inserts will be fastened to the base with either two or four Allen screws. The MSD system can use either end lock or side lock adjustable knives, as seen here. The next animation will show a changeover from a standard seal to a hole punch seal on a horizontal form fill and seal machine. This animation shows the exchange of a standard seal insert with a hole punch insert. As you can see, with the width of the base is large enough to fit the width of the hole punch insert. The standard insert is tapered to account for the reduction in seal surface from the hole punch to the standard seal inserts. I will now show a video that will demonstrate the changeover of a vertical bagger set of MSD jaws. As you can see, there are set screws in for the hot hole punch jaws. You would need to loosen those by just loosening up the set screws and allowing the jaw and allowing the punch to move backwards. Next, you would have to unscrew the or loosen the locking nuts for the set pins. And you can do that easily with a crescent wrench or any kind of wrench. And then you would need to loosen the set screws, releasing the insert from the base. And you would need to do that and leave the set screws secure in the base. Next, you would just have to remove the standard seal insert and pull out the thermocouple. Take the standard hole punch or standard seal insert, insert the thermocouple or RTD, install it into the base, and then you can go forward. And next step would be just to tighten the locking screws for the inserts, tightening them down until they come to a stop. Do not put it, add a lot of pressure to them. And the same for both sides. And then you would need to tighten down the, the locking nuts to make sure that the insert stays secure while running. And at the last step would be to tighten down the locking screws for the hot chamber punch in its recessed position. That would be a second set of locking screws for that just so that you can hold it into place and it won't fall out while running. Now I'll go and I will demonstrate going from the standard jaws to the hole punch jaws. This could either be your first step or you could wait. Uh, a lot of people prefer to wait to unscrew the locking screws for the hot chamber punch, but then it's pretty much just in reverse order. You Unscrew or loosen the locking nuts. And then you would go in and you would loosen up the locking screws. Again, keeping them secure in the base. Do not take them out of the base. And then remove the insert and the thermocouple. And at this point, I would like to point out to you just how much access you have to the heaters. As you can see, you have full access to the entire length of the heaters uh, while they stay secure in the base while you're changing them out. Next, you would add in the thermocouple and put the hole punch seal or the hole punch, in, hole punch insert back into place. You tighten down the locking screws until they come to a stop and secure the insert. And then you would do the same with the locking nuts, uh, secure them and make sure that they are in place so that they don't move during production. Now you would need to loosen up the set screws for the hot chamber punch and push it forward into the proper position to give you a good punch. And then do the same thing with the front set of locking screws, lock the uh, hot chamber punch into place at the proper depth to give you the proper punch.
Thank you for taking the time to visit our virtual booth for, booth for this uh, demonstration of the MSD modular ceiling device. I hope you may see an opportunity for this system to provide you with, an, with increased uptime and efficiencies while reducing your parts inventory and costs. Since its conception, the MSD seal jaw system has provided hundreds of customers a reliable system to decrease, decrease the amount of downtime they experience due to changeovers, adjustments, and maintenance. Please feel free to visit our virtual booth should you have any questions. It is in the chat section of our, of our, uh, of our LACO page for PAC Expo Connects. There will be a link above the uh, chat section and you can go to our virtual booth and request information or brochures. If you would like to have your information taken for a sales engineer to contact you, you can also contact the information of your regional sales engineer on our website at www.lacotool.com. Thanks again for your time today, and I hope everyone has a good virtual show and you all remain healthy and safe.